U.S. soldiers from 1st Squadron, 61st Cavalry Regiment, 4th Brigade Combat Team, and 7th Squadron, 17th Cavalry Regiment, 159th Combat Aviation Brigade, 101st Airborne Division, conduct air-to-ground integration training. Specialist Benjamin Francis tells us how he feels this training helps his fellow soldiers. Better preparedness for uh, out-in-country combat, responding to objectives quickly, getting us to understand things that are a little bit uh, hard to understand for the new new guys, never been there before. It's a little bit more realistic with live ammunition. It helps out just about everybody, plus we can get a good hold on our guys before we actually deploy. Captain Cliff Rogers, commander of Charlie Troop 717th Cavalry, explains the air assets role in this training exercise. We're conducting area security operations you know, in, in support of 161 Cav. Basically, it's just to enable them to be able to execute their mission, which their, their mission is to seize the objective. Second Lieutenant Josh Dean, Comanche Troop Platoon Leader, tells us how this training will help him and his soldiers for the squadron's next rendezvous with Destiny. I think for me personally, it gives me experience leading a platoon in an actual operation. I know this is the first time for an air assault operation for some of these guys. I think it also gains experience for actions on the objective, uh, assaulting the objective, that sort of thing. For Curry Public Affairs, I'm Specialist Brad Parrish.